English conversation practice for the oral test of the Italian school managers competition. Lisbon and post-Lisbon strategies. The extraordinary European Council held in Lisbon on 23rd, 24th March of 2000 opened a new season, the so-called Lisbon strategy, which has inspired the co-financed European programs and initiatives from 2001 until now. The fundamental principles of the PIN programs and initiatives no, excuse me the fundamental principles of the strategy tend to realization of an economy able to react to the challenges launched by an evolving multimedia society and the research of new development forms with regard to social politics the attention is focused on the optimization of human resources. As for education and training, the Lisbon Council has indicated the following strategic objectives. 1. Improve the quality and efficacy of the European Union education and training systems. 2. Facilitate the access to the education and training systems. 3. Open the education and training systems to the outside world. We see then the start of a new political phase centered on uh, the principle of social cohesion, which adopts the so called open method of coordination, that is the cooperation among the member states to indicate uh, common objectives and instruments through a standardiz standardization process that goes from the definition of definitive benchmarks, experience exchange and best practice diffusion. The following objectives will assume a key role and become the center of the education and training politics. 1. Languages learning. 2. Students, teachers and working staff mobility. 3. Information and communication technology, e-learning and new technologies. 4. Permanent training. EQF. The European Qualification Framework EQF -E -F, is organized on eight levels, five regarding the primary and secondary education and training, and three regarding university education. In 2009, Debates on the post-Lisbon strategy started and on uh, 24th uh, November of the same year, 2009, President Barroso and the European Commission launched a new strategy, uh, <coughs> uh, Union, uh, European Union, 20, uh, 2020 based on three priorities. One, intelligent growth, develop an economy based on knowledge and innovation. Two, sustainable growth, promote a more efficient and competitive economy from a research, resource point of view. Three, inclusive growth, promote an economy with a high percentage of occupation 
to favor the economic, social and territorial, territorial cohesion. In particular, with regard to school education, it was decided to fight school desertion, reducing the present percentage from 15 to 10 percent and, and to increase within 2020 the quota of population between 30 and 34 years who have completed completed high school courses from today's 31 percent to at least 40 percent the european programs for example youth on the move and the lifelong lifelong learning program youth on the move established on uh, 15 uh, of november 2006 with the european parliament and council resolution youth on the move proposed as one of the main initiatives of the European Union uh, 2020 strategy consists of the following five actions Youth for Europe, Voluntary European Service, Youth in the World, Support System for the Youth, Support to European Cooperation in the Youth Sector. With regard to the initiatives on education and training, the primary objective is that to make them more attractive by increasing the students and training mobility to be realized through the cooperation between university and the union research institutes. But uh, most important is a lifelong learning program. LLP. The lifelong learning program was established on uh, the same day, on 50th of November 2006, with the European Parliament and Council resolution, and it substitutes the program uh, Socrates. To know more about the project and the proposal by school institution, the candidate guide can be consulted and or download, downloaded in the English version from the National Agen Agency Lifelong Learning Program site. Following is a synthetic program structure. One, Comenius program regarding school education from primary to high secondary school to Leonardo program regarding professional education uh, of uh, association and companies uh, other training center and agency Erasmus and Erasmus Mundus programs regarding higher level education companies consortium order of the extended university Charter Grundtvig program regarding the adult education and the permanent training. The transversal program articulated in four many subjects development of cooperation politics, language learning, new information and communication technologies, result diffusion. Uh, at, la at last, at last. Jean Monnet program to improve uh, action in support of education and training, but uh, 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 attention. Uh, all these programs uh, now are uh, in a, a new program, Erasmus Plus. Okay. Lifelong, learn, life, lifelong learning program and the CLIL methodology. One, one of the subjects the lifelong learning program deals with the, with is the CLIL. CLIL. C L I L. 
methodology regarding the learning of a non-linguistic discipline in a foreign language. The language is not the objective of learning, but just the vehicle within a learning environment. This methodology is inserted in the Higher Secondary School Reform, which envisions the teaching of a non-linguistic uh, subject in a second language on the fifth year of all school grades and on the fourth and the fifth year of the linguistic high school. The teaching should be entrusted to the teacher of the chosen discipline. This call for an uh, intensive training of the teaching staff, in particular for those teachers who possess at last the minimum requisites as required by the European framework B1 level. In preparing the POF, it would be desirable to insert clean courses within the educational training development plane, taking, taking advantage of the prerogative offered by the school autonomy regarding the development of educational offer and or curricular flexibility. Structural funds. The European Social Fund and the Regional Development Fund. The European Union utilizes structural funds to finance initiatives meant to equalize the development levels of the various regions in accordance with the principles of econo economic, social and territorial cohesion. With regard to education and training, the most important funds are 1. The European Social Fund to finance training initiative and the professional introduction of disadvantaged categories. 2. The European Regional Development Fund to finance infrastructures and labor investments. The funds are allocated every seven years through the national, regional or local authorities. To be able to have access to the funds, these authorities must identify at the initial programming stage those strategies explained in the national strategic framework and in conformity with the European Community rules. The program from 2007 and 2013 uh, which has also introduced the cohesion fund for the region with an average per capita pill inferior to 90% of that of the average European Union countries appears simpler than the previous one and substitutes the strategic objectives with the following objectives. One, Convergence objective, two, competitiveness objective, three, territorial cooperation objective. The entire programming, programming is characterized by the integration of the horizontal principles, equal opportunities, no discrimination, sustainable development. The new PON programming, the new uh, operating uh, um, uh, program PON, uh, National Operative uh, Programs. Okay. Uh, 
National operative programs has been divided in two sections. One, development competence, uh, financed by the European Social Fund, FSE which tends to the improvement of the teaching quality and the development of students, schools, staff and adults, adults' knowledge. Two, learning environment, financed with the European Regional Development Funds, FESR. Learning environment which focuses on the equipment and school technological instrument, instruments improvement in respect of the ergonomic and the eco-sustainable principle promulgated by the Lisbon and the European Union uh, uh, 2020 strategy. The National Operative Program Management. In compliance with the uh, European Union uh, rules, the operational programs are organized centrally by management authority, general management of international affairs, uh, office responsible for the management and one level control of line and in place with technical inspectors and, the, and the, in the cooperation with the regional school offices. Two, certify, certifying authority, office five of the management authority. It certifies to the European Union uh, the affected expenses. Three, Audit Authority, Office 9 of the Region Management for Financial and Budget Politics, responsible for the verification of the management system and second level control audit affected in place. The Management Authority employs monitoring and data management system organized through the interaction of the following platforms in Valsi, evaluation questionnaires, uh, in DIRE, announcement, integrated planes, management and monitoring of projects, CD, financial monitoring of projects, EGRU, payments, Monet Web Ministry for Economy and Finance, data exchange and relations with the European Union, Union. The school regional institutions interested in the convergence objective may present in response to ministerial uh, operational uh, program, operation nation, national program, announcement, announcement, an integrated plane of European Social Fund intervention and an integrated plan of European Regional Development Fund interventions to be inserted in the POF for completion support of the educational offer.